Welcome to season two of the I Talk to Angels podcast. I'm Beverly Densham, author of the book I Talk to Angels. I really look forward to bringing you tips, meditations, angel card readings, and guidance from the angels every week to help and inspire you, whether you're new to the angels or loved the angels for a long time. So welcome again to this week's podcast, How to Meditate with the Angels. So before we delve into today's meditation, which the angels say is kind of like more important than ever, you know, you might meditate some of the time, you might meditate every day like myself, Um, but the angels are really urging us all to meditate more. It's like food for your soul. It's food for your emotional, mental health. It helps everything really, to be honest. And when you meditate with the angels, it just goes that little bit deeper and you feel, make, I think it makes you feel more protected and safe. And um, so I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the week. And uh, I spent some lovely few days with my son and um, also, spent quite a lot um, time in London and it's interesting actually reviewing it. Somebody said to me, oh, have you come back refreshed? And it's like, well, no, <laughs> I didn't come back refreshed. And I've just been thinking about it and I think it's, um, I feel much more refreshed today actually. I think it's spending so much time like wearing a face mask and, you know, going in shops with a face mask on and, and so many people and, um, it's and and traveling you know in public transport like the underground and stuff like that and more face masks and not being able to breathe so easily and and that's how I find it anyway and I accept that's how it is and that's how the world is at the moment but uh it's stifling actually it's stifling so it's kind of like we the angels are saying we need nature more than ever we need to go in the fresh air more than ever. We need our alone and quiet time more than ever. And meditation is a beautiful part of that. So um, it was a great, great, it was a great time though. It's just uh, that side of it, which uh, for me is uh, is a bit more challenging. But we can change our mindset on these things and come to a place of more acceptance, can't we? And, 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 And create what feels good for us can't we so uh it's really lovely the latest spirit and destiny magazine a bit of news and announcements the latest spirit and destiny magazine is out in the shops and i got my copy and i'm um, excited to do uh, carry on doing all the weekly events with the magazine and being one of their angel experts it's just lovely in the magazine it's got about um meet some of our experts live panel um i'm in there um every month for you so it's really nice doing the weekly event on the spirit and destiny magazine facebook page uh today we're going to be doing all about um how to help you with your inner child and have more fun (laughs) we need more fun everyone uh and also a bit of healing there i think as well us have more fun <laughs> we need more fun and uh it's really nice um, i'm writing every month the um, angel q a so you can read all about that and there's a really interesting some really interesting questions have come up actually um so thank you to everyone who's um submitted questions and that they've been featured so i mean this one's are there even more angels around us when there is a crisis happening in the world um and i wrote that with the angels that's one of the questions that was question of the month actually which you can take a little read of some very interesting questions come in anyway but you can take a read you can take a read so that is that that is that this month um otherwise it was just actually it was really nice to see foils open and one of the foils at bookshops open in london actually that was lovely to see whilst i was there um and of course waterstones and all those ones are all open So let's get started on the reading. So this, I want this card to be for you and to help you in your quiet time, your meditation time with the angels. I'm just shuffling the cards at the moment. I'll give them a little slide across the table. Yeah, meditation time. I've picked the I love you card. Meditation time is a, a chance to give yourself so much love 
because who's going to give you the most love in the world? Probably yourself. It's not that you can't have love, unconditional love from a pet, which is so loving and from beautiful friends and family and love and romance and all those things as well, of course. But loving yourself every day with things like meditation is like the icing on the cake. It can make everything more magical, everything easier, coping better, the angels say, you know, as I said before, better mental health. So it says, love yourself. Say to yourself, I love you and speak with love. Say silently love before you speak and more love will appear in your life. And the angels are giving me were guilty. Like you might feel guilty about taking time off sometimes or holiday time, time off. And the angels are really urging you not to feel guilty. I have to admit that's how I did feel um, taking uh, more holiday time in August off. Um, I've kind of half, half stroke three quarters been working and a quarter to half off at times. And um, I used um, different techniques to help <laughs> encourage me that it's okay to have some holiday time. And um, it's, it's important for us. So when I'm saying this to you, I'm looking in a mirror at myself. Um, I'm working on this one myself. So I'm very proud of myself. I've got um, more holiday. Um, time planned in, time out, um, later in the year as well. So how about you? What does this card message mean to you today? So we're gonna do one more card message and delve into meditation today because more than anything, um, the angels want me to do that with you today. So just shuffled the Happy Kids cards, which are my 52 card deck of positive affirmation cards gonna fan them out actually best card for you today please is this one how interesting we got we got a snap card we got two love cards how interesting so we got the i am loved i am surrounded by love so think this beautiful affirmation to yourself all day long i am loved i'm surrounded by love and something lovely you can do <laughs> is when you pick an angel card or positive affirmation card, you can just leave them out for the day until you pick one next time, maybe tomorrow morning or later on in the day. It's a really nice thing to do. Angels are tickling my nose. They love this. So, you know, leave them out. If you have an angel altar, um, a little special, basically a special little place where you put your favorite angel cards, positive affirmation cards or favorite books or candles etc whatever you like um maybe a copy of my i talk to angels who knows what's but whatever feels right for you really crystals me anything vision board i've moved my vision board actually it feels better where it in its new home um so it's a beautiful affirmation angels anything else you want to say about this meditation is loving you know it's loving for yourself your mind your body your soul your emotional health it's restful and rejuvenating. And I'll be honest, sometimes I fall asleep. Um, and I'm, I'm, I, I do that regularly as well on purpose. So I might do um, meditation, angel meditation, um, self-reiki healing, and I might set the alarm for an hour later if I need it that day, or I might just meditate for one minute, three minutes. Um, yeah, it's just, just listen to yourself. The sunshine shine came out yesterday when I was on a beautiful walk and, um, I was by the river in London and um, normally when, I'm, when the sun comes out and I'm on a walk, I meditate and just take 10 breaths in and out. But the angels are just giving me the word mention. Just wanted to mention it that um, it can be snippets of meditation. So you can literally close your eyes, standing in nature or wherever you are, sitting or lying down. If you want a little bit more time. Um, and just take 10 breaths in and out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You can have your eyes closed and serene, or you can gaze at a be some beautiful nature, such as some glistening water or um, bird, tree, whatever, <laughs> sky. Oh my gosh, the sky's been amazing this week. I'm so me I get so mesmerized by clouds <laughs> and the sky. The sky's beauty, absolute beauty. So you can gaze at clouds. It's just for 10 breaths in and out. And actually the moon is looking fantastic. Last night was amazing, the moon. So we're starting to head up towards the, um, heading towards the full moon. And I'm recording this for you today. So you can also do things like gazing at a star, gazing at the moon, it's beautiful. And just asking the angels to be with you at those moments. 
let's meditate let's meditate get yourself comfy i've got the tibetan bells ready have some water ready for afterwards it's going to bring some nice music in now for you and you can sit for this or lie down because it'll be longer than one minute <laughs> so closing your eyes when you're ready and you're going to breathe and relax and just simply breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth relax I'm going to relax more and more on each out breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. Relax your tummy muscles too. I'm going to start with the Archangel Michael prayer. This is the easiest way of how to meditate with the angels, is to bring in a beautiful prayer, an angel prayer, to connect you in with the angels. So we'll do two today for you. Archangel Michael. Please place a blue purple cloak bubble of protection around you and me. And that this meditation is for the highest good of you and everyone and everything around you. Thank you. Guardian angels, please help you and me see, hear, feel and know what the angels would love to tell you today in meditation. Breathe and relax in through your nose, out through your mouth. Relax. Just bringing in the Tibetan bells for you. I talk to angels prayer. Guardian angel, please surround you with your unconditional love. Shine your bright light on you for guidance, positivity, healing, happiness and inspiration. Let your light shine on you like the sun in your life and work. Guardian Angel, please help you to talk to you and to receive your guidance and love. With gratitude, I thank you. The angels are sending love to you. And now change your breathing to in through your nose, out through your nose. Keep that breathing going. And relax. Breathe and relax. And breathe and relax. The angels are sending me love, saying, I love you. They're like a spiritual best friend. They're underlining the love, making sure that you do things that you love every day, spending time with people you love every day, reaching, recharging your batteries in a way that you love every single day doing work that you love and that's rewarding and fulfilling every single day. Love yourself. Say to yourself, I love you. Silently with, speak with love and say silently love before you speak and more love will appear in your life. Remember this beautiful affirmation, especially for you of, I am loved, I am surrounded by love. Breathe and relax. I'm going to change your breathing now to some really deeply calming, relaxing, meditative breathing. In for four and out for six and relax. Into your nose, out of your nose, in for four, out for six and relax. We can do this a few times. In for four, out for six, relax. In for four, out for six, relax. In for four, out for six, relax. And breathe naturally now, relaxing more on each out breath. Your guardian angel would love to give you a personal message now. They can give you this in the form of a gift wrapped present, which they can hand you right now with their wings of unconditional love. Or you can simply allow them to 
help you see, hear, feel or know a message especially for you. It can even be one word. And absorb that beautiful message for you. You might get it now, you might get it later. It might be purely, the gift today might be purely enjoying this meditation together with the angels in this beautiful podcast. This angelic wisdom for you. And bathe in the message or the breathing and relaxation. The natural rhythm of your own breath is incredibly relaxing. Enjoy that for a few more moments. Deep breath in or yawn. <sighs> Wiggle your fingers and your toes and have a glass of water. If you're lying down, then just um, get yourself out of your cozy blanket if you're tucked up in a blanket. Slowly come up to sitting. If you're already sitting, um, have some water. Cheers. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Really hope you enjoyed today's meditation. Some of that breathing I teach in um, my mindfulness Pilates teaching. I always start and finish with meditation in that. Um, it's nice going deeper in meditation though, and you can go deeper and more intuitive when you connect in with the angels as well. But I do like the practicality of just breathing on its own as a, a standalone meditation as well. I think it's very practical just to take like 10 breaths regularly throughout the day. Now in between things, it helps you recharge more. And especially for those of you who are a sensitive person, um, been talking a little bit about sense, being sensitive and how to help with that and I think just taking little and often breaks in between things even for those 10 breaths and that can make such a difference. So today's takeaway is meditate <laughs> um, but meditate more and if you only meditate once a week and then it doesn't mean meditate twice a week the angels are encouraging you to do some meditation every day but you know this think about what it means to you because it's not necessarily about loads of time it's more about little and often. And yeah, great. And you've got more time, obviously, and do it longer. Um, like I loved doing a, a longer meditation and Reiki self-healing this morning, for example, uh, with the angels, which was lovely. But then um, in between my work today, I'll just take 10 breaths and have a lie down on my Pilates mat. So, you know, um, it varies. It really varies. So do what feels right for you and um, enjoy enjoy the tips today and uh thank you so much for coming along again and hanging out together have a beautiful beautiful week as much as possible and when you don't feel so great uh do a bit of this and um, may it bring you more joy and happiness and remember every step of the way the angels hold your hand lots of love thank you for listening to this episode of the i talk to angels podcast please rate and review on your podcast platform. You can access my free angel healing meditation on my website. You can get a signed copy of my book, I Talk to Angels, which includes a free manifestation meditation with the angels. You can also book your one-to-one -one coaching and angel card reading by going to angeliclifestyle.com.